And have you ever wondered why some promising movie franchises suddenly come to a grinding halt? After just one box office failure, as a fellow movie enthusiast, I can't help but ponder the same thing. These franchises often possess incredible potential, leaving audiences creating more stories from their beloved characters. Today, we will explore 10 such movie franchises that met their demise prematurely due to a single misstep at the box office. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into this list filled with missed opportunities and shattered missed opportunity that had a missed opportunity for its pretty basic face of the job of the biggest relationship ever since. Tim Wan. First up, we have The Chronicles of Narnia. After two successful entries, the series stumbled with The Voyage of the Dawn Shredder. Despite having Millie Bobby Brown attached to star in the fourth film, The Silver Share, the project never took off, leading us to believe that Netflix's upcoming reboot might fill the void. Uh, next, we move on to The People of Sparks, whose first film, City of Ember, featured early appearances by Sayer Sharonin and Bill Murray. While the movie captured the essence of the book, it lacked depth, and unfortunately, the proposed sequels never saw the light of day. Uh, at number eight, we encountered Jupiter Ascending, a visually stunning yet flawed film that showcased Milky Ways Beyond Hours and strange creatures lurking in corners unknown. Despite its beautiful aesthetics, weak characterization hindered its success, resulting in an unfortunate end to this ambitious venture. And one time home makes it work. Coming in at number seven, we discuss the Millennium series, specifically The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Starring Rooney Mara and Daniel Craig, the filmer but couldn't live up to financial expectations. Its follow-ups faltered too, eventually giving rise to a mediocre reboot. Uh, number six introduces us to The Mortal Instruments, a young adult paranormal romance series with great potential. Sadly, the rushed exposition and odd sibling revelation doomed the first film, City of Bones, preventing us from exploring the rich Shadowhunter universe any further. And speaking of universes waiting to expand, uh, did someone say Wonder Woman? At number five, Gal Gadot's Amazon warrior princess faces a murky future after mixed reactions toward Wonder Woman 1984. Many fans hoped for a refreshing take on her third outing, but alas, it wasn't meant to be. At number four, we find ourselves rooting for Rosa Salazar's cyborg heroine in Battle Angel Alita. The lacking in compelling narratives in the anime adaptation leaves ample room for improvement of keeping hopes alive for a sequel someday. A bronze medal goes to Treasure Planet. Disney's criminally underrated steampunk rendition of Robert Louis Stevenson's classic tale. Animated epics seldom get a shot at becoming franchises, but this, this forgotten gem deserved so much more. Number two brings us to Edgar Rice Burroughs' The Barsoom series. and its ill-fated cinematic interpretation, John Carter. Boasting breathtaking visual effects and grandeur, the movie suffered from over-ambitiousness and poor marketing, sealing its fate as a solitary entry. And finally, capping off our list at number one is none other than the iconic Power Rangers reboot. Packing a punch with fresh talent, modern twists, the 2017 flick garnered a loyal fan base hungry for more. But dwindling ticket sales dashed those dreams, leaving behind nothing but fond memories and endless speculation about what could have been. And there you have it. Ten movie franchises crushed by a singular box office disappointment. Each deserves recognition for their contributions to cinema history and serves as a reminder that sometimes even the best laid plans go awry. And remember, humor makes life bearable. So here's a little joke for you. Why don't ghosts use cell phones? They prefer to be phantom texting. And with that said, thank you for joining me today. Until next time, happy watching.